Hi, I'm Bruce from North Star Games, and we're going to do a run through of Evolution The Beginning. Joining me today is Gretchen. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing the game with me today. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how this works, just like if we were at a convention. Okay. Awesome. I'm super excited. Uh, very good. So things you need to know about the game <laughs> is that this is a game all about the evolution of species and the interconnectivity of species in an ecosystem. All right. Okay? You win by having the most food because scientifically, whatever species have the most food are the ones that are going get to get to continue to evolve and adapt. I'm all about being the, the queen of having enough food. Very good, very good. In this game, cards do everything, okay? Mm -hmm. So if I have a card like this, that is a new species, uh -huh. okay? If I want to add population, I want more of that species, I can put a second card like that. Mm -hmm. If I want two species, I can do that. Oh. Okay? Okay. Next thing, cards have uh, powers on them. They have abilities. Uh, they have traits. You can play them to give your species that trait. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what's really neat about all this is, by and large, there are no limits in this game. You can have as many cards in your hand as you want, as many mm -hmm. cards on the table, as many species. The only limit, you can only have three traits per species and no duplicates of a trait. Ah. So if, you're, if you have speed and you run fast, mm -hmm. you can't like double run fast like the Flash. <laughs> you just run fast, okay? I mean, it's still a lot of traits to give a species, having three. I feel like that's going to be exactly. more than enough. And you're going to see as you go through that sometimes you wish it was enough, and it simply isn't. <laughs> uh, provided with every game, and I want you to look at it as we go through the playthrough, is you have this really cool player aid mm. that explains all ten cards that are used in the game to you. All right. Okay? Uh, main thing to know, you're trying to eat as much as you can. At some point, you can turn carnivore, mm. where instead of eating from the watering hole, you can eat other people. Oh. There are defensive traits, which we'll talk about a little bit when we get to them, but they protect you from being eaten by the carnivore. Mm -hmm. There are also some traits to eat and some traits to increase your population, but we'll talk about them once we get to them in the deck, okay? All right. Here's how a turn works. Every turn works this way. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. So one, you get a new species. Mm -hmm. Two, you take two food from the excess food pile and you throw them in the watering hole. Mm -hmm. Then you get three cards, okay? I'm going to play these face up so that everybody can see what I'm doing. So I have burrowing, speed, and fat tissue. These two protect me if you become a carnivore and you try to eat me. But right now, you have nothing there, so I'm fine. This is fat tissue. This species may eat two food per population. So if I put that here, we have two food in the watering hole, I have one space to take food, and then a invisible space next to it made by fat tissue. So I could eat all the food there. Ah, okay. So that is gonna be the opening play for me. A uh, one thing to note is, if I were to do something like this, and put three population, there's only two food. So, so I would take enough. the first one, I would take the second one. This population actually has to get discarded because it couldn't eat. Ah, uh, so it dies off. Exactly. Oh dear. Indeed. With fat tissue, I'm not obligated to fill these. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to be that fat, I don't have to be. <laughs> but uh, I can. So I'm going to leave that one card out. I'm going to take those two food. At the end of the turn, you're going to eat. You eat by taking your cute little decorative bag. Awesome. You're going to take your food, you're going to put it in the bag, and you're done the turn. Okay. So now it is your turn. We're going to play your hand face up as well. All right. One, mm -hmm. new species. Two, food go in the middle. All right. One, two, three cards go in your hand. Okay, so I get the card. You get the card. So what you have is you have flight, which once again protects you if someone becomes a carnivore, and by someone I mean me. Defensive oh. horns. If I try to attack you with a carnivore, you're going to do some damage to me. I'm going to lose some population. The final card is scavenger. Mm -hmm. When a carnivore attacks, you're going to get to eat some food. Ooh, this is a toughie. This is a toughie. I think I'm going to go with defensive horns. Okay, so then you would put defensive horns like that get to old. show that it's on that population. One up on that defense. And then if you want to, you can put another population in. You have two food that you could eat if you want to. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do it. Okay, so you've taken that card. You're going to take the two food and you can put the them in the little food. spaces that you see there. Little spaces. Yep, and they All are yours. Right. Now we got, we've got we gotten to the end of the turn. Yep. So and I... now you're going to take those food. All and right. they go into your decorative bag. And what do I do with this card right so here? So this card is in your hand now. You okay. can use it in a future turn to either add population, to add a new species, or if you want to play it, you are certainly allowed to. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason that the turn is kind of made the way it is, mm -hmm. where at the end of a turn you eat, and that's the only time you do, is because of this card, Scavenger. Uh, okay. So if I attack, mm -hmm. you still get to eat on my turn. 
if you I have like it out that. there. I so like it's that. very cool. This game plays from two to five players. Mm -hmm. So if you're playing with five, this can be very advantageous to you. My turn now. Right. One, new species. Mm -hmm. Two, food go in the middle. One, two, three cards go in my hand. And I'll just keep showing off what we have here. We have another fat tissue. Mm -hmm. We have flight, we have speed, we have burrowing. If you're going to attack, I can definitely protect myself. Here's a problem I have. There's only two food in the middle. So that fat tissue is not necessarily gonna help me unless I let the other mm -hmm. species die, which I don't wanna do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some, something crazy. I'm gonna give this fat tissue speed mm -hmm. so that if you can start hurting me, I can protect <laughs> myself. I'm gonna give that flight so that if you get one of these traits, you're either fast, you can't catch me in the air, or if you can fly, I can outrun you. And I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna keep these cards. One is gonna go here. And remember, fat tissue, I'm not obligated to feed mm -hmm. it. And then one goes there. End of my turn, I collect my food. And it is now your turn. Awesome, all right. One new species. Mm -hmm. Two food go in the middle. One, two, three cards in your hand. All right, so let's see. Ooh, I do have a carnivore. Yes, you do. I do, okay. I cannot eat from the water hole, must eat other species. I think I want this guy right here to turn into a carnivore. Okay, so you up? have a carnivore. Now remember, one of my guys can run fast, Fruit. one of my guys can fly. All right. You also have a flight card. I do have a so flight card. So now you could fly as well and you could come eat me. I think I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go after you. Okay. And see what I can do so that uh, since these guys are eating up all of my food, yep. that carnivore can try to get food from a different source. Exactly, and the carnivore has to get food from mm -hmm. another source. So what the carnivore is going to do, since it has flight, it can get the flying guy. All okay? right. Uh, in this game, carnivores always succeed when they attack. Oh, okay. They take one population away from the species that you ate, mm -hmm. and you get two food. So one thing you can actually do right now is if you want to put another population out there, I you would be able to eat all of the food. be able to do that. Exactly. So then you're going right. to nom 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 over here. This is going to die. All the food for me. You get two food for killing it. And then I actually get a bonus. Because you made this species go extinct, mm -hmm. however many trait cards I had on it, I get to draw that many cards from the deck. All right. So I had flight. That was all I had. So these are now going to go in the discard pile, which we'll put up here. Mm -hmm. I get one card for that. And you get to collect all of your food at the and end of your turn. I collect all of my noms. Indeed, you're nommed up. I'm nommed up. One new species, two new food go in the middle. One, two, three cards go in my hand. And I'll just continue to play face up because it's neighborly. Uh, I'm gonna do that so that I can uh, eat when you eat. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, I wish I had scavenger, or I wish I had uh, carnivore. This would be a good time to start eating people. So if I want to dodge your carnivore, I could go nocturnal. That means I come out at night. It is another defensive trait, just like flight, uh, just like burrowing, just like speed. You need nocturnal to overcome my nocturnal. So if I come out at night and you don't, All right. so that for that carnivore to eat this guy, he's going to have to find a way to get me at night. Um, right now there's no more food in the middle for me. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna to have to stop where I am put one food on each of them, eat those two food, nom nom nom, and let it be your turn. All right. Okay, so, so one, two, one, two, three. All right, so we have, we have several new things here. We have long neck, fertile, carnivore, and fat tissue. So let's do this, since a card needs to be down, you can't pick those up. So right. I'm gonna leave that exactly where it is. All right. Okay. So then you have a long neck. Long neck's a fun card. What it lets you do is this. If you play long neck, mm -hmm. before feeding this species, it eats three food from the excess food pile. So you can have three population and you eat from over here. You don't even deal with this. Oh, so you know how, because, right. and essentially what that means in the game is, is you've evolved this long neck. Mm -hmm. So while everyone's down here fighting and eating you each other, up you're up at the top yep. of the trees eating. All right. So you could actually put two more population on that and all of them would get fed. That's awesome. That's, okay, so let's see. We and have, then, I do you have either speed or nocturnal? I do not have speed or nocturnal. So then what you need to be ready for is that your carnivore is going to die. It, it is. Uh, let's let's see here. Let's see what, let's at least give a card here to our horned defensive guys yes. over here. 
gonna give them some fat tissue. Okay. And uh, sadly, sadly, my poor carnivore, my poor carnivore, we don't have food for you. You oh. may wanna put the other two on the long neck. Oh. Can I do that with the carnivore? Absolutely, because you're <gasps> playing it face down. Cause yeah, because cards can do that as and well. And he can have, uh, he can have all of the food. Oh, okay. okay. So before okay. feeding, you're not going to feed yet. Nope. He's going to get three food from over there. He gets the three food from over here. You have three population to eat it. Another important thing, if you only had two population on it, mm -hmm. even though he can eat three food, he doesn't he get two. He only get two. Um, for a carnivore, that would be just like tearing through the battlefield mm -hmm. and just not having everybody's full and nobody can eat the leftover stuff that's that's on the ground to eat. With here, it's would be fruit or nuts up in the trees mm -hmm. and you're just full. Awesome. So it doesn't matter. Canopy eater, love it. So you're gonna get that. We're gonna come over here to your defensive horns. You're gonna get the stuff oh, that's in the middle. Right. If ever you get more built up in the middle, you're gonna be uh, able to eat that. And then finally your carnivore. So you haven't protected your long neck. <sighs> so you can eat your long neck. You get to I collect can, that I food. Can, I can eat my own people? Mm -hmm. Oh, he doesn't have to die. Nope. Excellent. So you get to eat that. All right. This is going to go in the discard pile that's because good. that population did die. And then you get two food oh, for eating that. Oh, that's wonderful. Yep. Yeah. And now it's the end of the turn. You get to collect all of your food. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> I'm excited. And then let me I've just... named every single one of my small evolutionary children here. They're, they're going to make it big. I can... <laughs> I can tell. They're gonna they're gonna go forth. No meteors or natural disasters will kill them all. Thank goodness in this version we do not have that available. Oh. Uh, now what we're gonna do this is a term that I've coined. Um, I don't know that other evolution players uh -huh. have, but it's one I like to do, which is I'm about to play murder ball. Oh no! Uh, this is where it gets real ugly. So I'm gonna play fat tissue, uh -huh. so they can eat twice as much. I'm gonna play flight because you got a guy in the air. Uh -huh. I'm then gonna go, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I'm gonna lay out these guys. So then, uh, let's see, and I got one more. So I'm gonna do, no, I'm gonna stay with this. Okay, <laughs> so. All right. First guy eats. Uh-huh. Actually, he is a scavenger. No, this guy eats. I'm gonna give him another population, he eats again. Okay. Okay. Now. No! What did I do? <laughs> there was an important card missing. That oh, was an important card oh. missing from this play. When you play murder ball, you play murder ball with a carnivore. What was I doing? I looked down and it just didn't see it anymore. You can tell because I got the real high, like the nerd voice. Yeah, like, oh, ugly. what is going on? So then I'm gonna put six there. Oh no. So then we're gonna oh, attack no. here first. I eat the first one for two food. And because I have fat tissue, I can do that. I eat the next one for two food. The fat tissue, I can do that. This guy's a scavenger. He got to eat after the first mm -hmm. one and he gets to eat again after the second one because he also has fat tissue. Uh -huh. So that's gone. That gets discarded. That's You're gone. gonna get a card oh, no. for it because it had a trait. Uh -huh. I'm gonna come over here. I'm flying, you're flying. I eat your first one. Oh. I take two. Oh no. I eat your next one. Oh no! I take two. Those are gone. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I, I get to I get to hand no you two cards disaster. for that. <laughs> but and a fat flying carnivore. <laughs> it just you hear it and you're like, no, a fat flying carnivore is gonna work. No, it's not. Uh, I'm gonna oh. eat this one. Oh no! I take two food. And then if you take a look, defensive horns. Uh -huh. Before receiving food, you lose a population. So I lose one of my guys for doing it. So you uh, gored me with your horns and nobody yes. else over here can eat anymore. My my good boy. So I get to collect all of this food. Oh no. Including that one I throw on the floor. I'm just gonna steal one from over there. And then it's an exciting time. Indeed. You know, so you just it's gotta all right. All right. So gotta... there's that one, two, three. So now you're in a rebuilding turn. Yep. One, all right. two in the middle. One, two, three. And then the timer for the game is the deck of cards. Ah. Once the deck of cards runs out, we make sure we have an even number of turns. Mm -hmm. Since I started the game, if it runs out on my turn, mm -hmm. you're gonna get one more. If it ends on your turn, right. then we're done. Uh, you win the game with the most points. That is all the food in the bag, mm -hmm. plus all the cards on the table, plus all the cards in your hand. Okay. Okay. Easy enough. 
right, so. It is your turn, and I am completely and totally out of cards. <laughs> got to rebuild here. So we got my guy there. We're going to start a population here. And let's see. Let's see what we want to want to do. You currently have a carnivore who is flighty I have and a flighty fat. carnivore and fat. I have a sleepy guy with no protection whatsoever. You got a scavenger speedy fat guy. Yep. So I'm going to say I want this guy right here. I want him to be nocturnal. Okay. All right. And I am going to also make him a little nocturnal scavenger. Okay. All right, and you know, we haven't played this card yet, Fertile. So gain one population before you draw cards. So what's gonna happen is, is mm -hmm. if you play Fertile, mm -hmm. before you draw cards on your turn, we're just gonna add another population. So remember, you do one, two, three. So one new species, Jeez. two food go in the middle. Before you get your three cards, that gets another population. Oh, okay. So don't know if I have enough right now to really have enough food for everyone if I do another population. Let's see. Let's... And these are the decisions that you have to make in this yeah. game as you go along. The thing to note is, at two players, it's actually quite a strategic game. So the fact that I've played the game a lot more, you're gonna see in something like this because I know how to play Murder Ball. <laughs> uh, if we're playing with a lot more people, like four or five people, it's to take that game about dinosaurs because nobody can keep anything for too long. Mm. I would wipe you out with this guy and then the next person at the table would just start to nom the heck out of me <laughs> because I'm getting ahead. Yep. So it becomes uh, kind of like a lot of games like Munchkin where you're mm. just sort of clawing at the leader. It becomes a lot of that in this game uh, once you get at larger numbers. All right, so I am gonna do that. Defensive horns, fat tissue? Yep, and then I added a population there. Okay. So I am going to feed everybody. And that should be it. That should be the end of my turn, right? Yep. Everyone's fed. Populations are good to go. Yep. Strength and you get to collect up, those. And I get to collect them. So now it's one, two, three, one. Two food in the middle. All right. One, two, three. You remember how a moment ago, mm -hmm. Murder Ball felt so good for me? And you were like, oh my goodness, <laughs> what happened? Murder Ball was so good. Oh my gosh, died. Uh, now I'm in a lot of trouble mm -hmm. because I have a carnivore with flight and fat tissue. Mm -hmm. That's nocturnal, I can't go for it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go for that in a minute. I can't get my guy with nocturnal. I can't get my guy with speed. So th that guy's in a lot of trouble. Over here, my scavenger with speed and fat tissue, I'm gonna wait on. My nocturnal guy's gonna take that one food. And then we're gonna come over here. So, I attack your first one. I take a damage. I get two food on him. Which I'll go that Even way Even with, with the defensive horns? But your defensive horns is why I had to throw a card oh, away. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so, I gorge one of them. Then I'm gonna, the scavenger's gonna get one. Uh -huh. My next guy needs to eat. So I lose a card. You lose your card. I get two more food. This guy gets a food. And I think that is the entirety of it. I could eat one more time. No, I can't. That's literally it. I can do no more. You're going to get two cards uh -huh. because of that guy that went extinct. All right. I barely managed to keep my guys alive, although I did lose two to your horns. And at the end of the turn, I collect all of my points. Uh, one more turn like that, and I get completely wiped out. Okay. So now it is your turn again. One, take two food from the from the pile and put them in the watering hole. And then one, two, three more cards are yours. So many cards. I know. I'm, I'm collecting here. And remember, we are very close to the end of the game and you're gonna get a point per card. Oh, oh wow. I don't know if it's enough to make up for, for murder ball in the bag here. <laughs> We're gonna but... try. We're gonna try. We're going for it. We're going for it. All right. So we have our one there and I want to try to get as much food as I can. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give fat tissue there. Yep. And we have enough for that right now. And then I'm gonna add speed. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to, what else do I have here to get at? All right, speed and carnivore. Can I do that? Absolutely. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. And then that means I can add another population here, mm -hmm. and then they are not 
Infernal. Just trying to see real quick if there's anything I need to defend against. So it, in this case, I wouldn't worry so much about defending mm -hmm. against this stuff. You've built a carnivore and you're looking for points. Yeah, yeah. So what you want to do so is give too. as much population to that carnivore as you can and then oh, set right. something up for it to eat. Uh, you're going to, with speed, you're so going to be right able to knock here. this guy out. Yep. You might want to, if you have flight, you might want to go for this guy because then you beat the guy that, uh, that I got you with. That, that is true. So then I would not worry about speed. Yeah, I would take flight. Because he can eat more. Exactly. And then start loading that up with population. All right, let's 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 populate. So you know you can eat, you, you know you can eat six food. Mm -hmm. So with fat tissue, you need three cards out there to be able to take full advantage of it. All right, so three cards out here. And then if you want to, you can start making another species <laughs> that it can eat from. All right, and then let's see. So we'll... And it can just be a plain Jane species with no traits. Yeah. So if you were to put two here, all right, you then could go two there. Oh wow! So two here, so then two more mm -hmm. here. Because of fat tissue. Because of fat so tissue. So that gives you kind of a neat thing. If you want to keep burning cards, you can choose to do that. That's a no, I think, strategic I think I'm decision. Good. Okay. All right. So, so then on your turn. All right. I would start with this dude. Actually, I think I would start with this dude. Just let yeah. him eat. Let him. Boop boop. He gets to eat because he's not going to last much longer. All right. And now start with your attack so and carnivore. Carnivore is going to eat these two, right? Yeah. Then he'll go in that and this. Actually, you get to eat these. These are oh, these go these in your right bag away. because this. So this species already ate the food. Oh, Done. awesome! So yep. it's just straight from your own pile. Yep. So bam, bam. Those are going to go down. Chef's about to yep. just put them all together. It's fine. I'll just take all the cards back. So then all you right. get four food for those. All right. So I get four food. And yep. is that from the... the from the pile? excess food yeah. pile. Because every time a carnivore eats, that's where it comes from. Two. So you're going to get to do that. And you get to do that because of fat tissue. Yep. Okay. Now you all can right. start coming for me. So you're going to eat one, two, three of my guys all right. and because for I have six more food. The fat tissue, I can add more. And then I get one, two, three cards for it, and that ends the deck over here. All right. Now what was neat was because you ate with a carnivore and you have scavenger. I add scavenger more. Scavenger gets to it eat. It keeps going. The first two times as well. Woo! All right. And now there's nothing else left to eat. You can collect all of your food. Ah. And with that, the game is over because we'll I started I the game enough. and you <laughs> finished it. So it's all the points on the board. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in cards, and then whatever I have in my bag. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're tied in cards. All right. And then those. And then you also have cards in your hand, so you actually have two oh. more points than oh. I do. And then it's just what we All have right. in our bags. So let's see. Thirty food. Ooh, I have twenty-six. Oh. So you beat me. That last minute move and having yes. having all of these cards out here was help and having cards in your hand. Excellent. So even though I got to play Murder Ball, in the end, if you can chain the combos together correctly, you can make some really cool things happen. It's a lot of strategy in the yeah, game. Definitely. Especially at two players, there's a ton because mm. every card I don't use, you could potentially have. All right. Um, I will say once you go up to four and five, at three, mm -hmm. it feels very much like this. At four and five, it is a lot more of a take that game <laughs> where mom and dad can play mm -hmm. and brother and sister can play and everybody can kind of attack each other with dinosaurs. It's a lot more fast. It's a lot more chaotic, which I personally really, really I dig. really like the fast and chaotic whenever it comes to games because it, it gives you a, it, it's a adrenaline rush almost as you're mm -hmm. playing. And then the now fun with this is exactly <laughs> the stuff that we did with the with the attacking each other. You mm -hmm. see that in those, and you can say like, I'm gonna attack you, then I'm gonna attack you, and then I'm gonna take three of yours. I'm gonna take all of yours because I just want to see your species die. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of each of yours off. That's what happens that, when you play with the siblings. That's exactly. Right That's what exactly. That like. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and seeing us play Evolution: The Beginning. If you like this game, take a look around the site at NorthStarGames.com. If you'd like to learn about our games before they come out. Go to NorthStarGames.com and join our email list. We would love to have you. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching.